Day weekend is a popular time to have fun by the water, and today we saw plenty of people at Lincoln Beach, the historic Black Beach on the shores of Lake Pontchartrain. That has technically sat closed for decades. A project is in the works to revitalize the beach. David Jones has our story. As we speak, a master plan is being developed for how, this, how to spend the millions of local, state, and federal dollars going toward the reopening of Lincoln Beach. Meanwhile, the city is waiting for the mayor's final approval to bring in security to keep visitors from making what they call a dangerous trek to the beach. We got a whole, we got a whole gate. We got a whole floodgate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the path to the beach that's exploded in popularity. Drawing families, boats, children and dogs to New Orleans East. It's been four years, a community-led, community-driven beautification, restoration, advocacy for Lincoln Beach. For advocate Sage Michael Pellet, cleaning up the beach day in, day out has been incredibly rewarding. Having our community celebrate black history and celebrate it with us, to me, it creates a heaven on earth. It's also meant piling up a lot of garbage. This pile right here is one of the largest piles we have collected um, since the four years we've been here. Amassing a humongous pile under the pavilion that was once central at this beach. We have a pile that's built up to a magnitude to myself and Reggie Ford, who has been like the committed volunteers to do this on a daily basis, every day, every night, to make sure there's not a drop of trash on the ground. It's one of the reasons the city will begin staffing Lincoln Beach with security 24-7. That and the beach is supposed to be off limits to trespassers. After four years though, Pellet says he's working to make sure he and fellow activists will still have access. People come over here and it's trespass and the city can't necessarily make sure that you're safe. During construction and debris, there's trash in the water and glass on the beach. But beach access here is on the horizon, with the first step being the construction of a pedestrian bridge over Hain Boulevard. Crews have already begun doing soil testing. There won't be any large spending on construction over here until we have a full solid plan. It could be beautiful. It's a site elsewhere, like Crescent City Park, but having one out here will be a beautiful um, corridor for people to drive by. And I was so impressed with their work um, that I committed to making it a major hallmark of my efforts when I got to Washington. Congressman Troy Carter has spearheaded efforts on the congressional front, earmarking $4.1 million in federal funding for the bridge. Oh, I give huge credit to, to the community. Um, you know, as a member of Congress, the job is to represent the community. The community spoke loud and clear uh, through these incredible advocates who uh, really didn't wait on government. We community advocates pushing for this project to stay a priority and to be managed efficiently and effectively throughout to make sure that the project is transparent and that the community involved all the way. Things are moving along. They had community meetings earlier this year to get input on the redevelopment, and they're expecting the master plan sometime in the summer. Meg.